Well, what you'll see on the second viewing, there were so many things we built in There's precisely so for second viewing. I have to say. Uh, it it makes sense why he was fighting. Oh, yeah, I need tight whatever it is over there. Tight three shot, basically. Tight you can get, and this is all two shots. Okay, ready? Guys, I'm having a little trouble trying to explain to people on the phone <laughs> what I have seen. This is not a movie I that you can it. summarize in a sentence, is but it? Isn't that a good thing? It is think? a good thing. I mean, I mean, yeah. I think there's, there's, you know, we all, as an audience in the critical community, kind of clamors for, you know, films that aren't so formulaic, that aren't so predictable, and, and I feel it's like, just, yeah. you know, that, one, that was one of the really exciting things about this to me, is even when we were trying to make it, people say, what it's about, what's it about, and you, you go, can't, you uh, can't, you really need to take it in and maybe see it again. It's but it's, it's a problem it's for thick. the marketing people when you see the commercials. <laughs> yes, it is. It just looks like you know you guys are fighting and uh, I'm going to see Rocky again, and that's really not what it, this no, is. No, no, not at all. That's this much uh, of the movie. Uh, uh, I'm glad you said that. We hit that. on so many issues. That, yeah, it's it's tough to 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 put a label on it because I have never seen anything quite like it. To everyone's credit, but especially Fincher's and. Chuck's voice. It's, yeah, it's just, it is. It's an unusual, it's very, very thick with ideas. Almost. It's a philosophy class or something. I, I it's think movie so you, you go yeah, watch and then you theology. find yourself talking, you know? Yeah. It is, it is. As a, we were, in the beginning when we all sat down, I said, Fincher and Brad, I said, you know, endless discussion. This is, this is, a, this is a zeitgeist film. It's a, it's a film that if we get it, if we catch the spirit of this book in this film, we'll, we'll have really kind of held a mirror up to the culture at a certain time, I think. And is it fair to say because the book was like this, and I think I've seen some commentaries in the book that said that basically men are out of style in the 20th century. This century is more suitable for women. Well, I, I don't know. I think that's a little bit reductive in the sense that I think that I don't think it's a proclamation like that, but I think it's an examination of why men feel. But there are a lot of frustrated men. Yes, around. sure. Yes. And it's true. Males. It is true. We are in PC times where it's mm -hmm. you don't yell, you don't fight, and and yes, this possibly is the more evolved place. But you have to experience the other to get there, and that you can't just skip that step and go straight to. Well, I don't fight. I don't argue. Mm -hmm. I, I find. All right, I'm 46. We definitely had fights in the schoolyard sure. when I was coming up. You guys are a little younger. Did your guys, did you have people And would you say they were innocuous at this point? I mean, this is before people whipping out guns, but right. would you say, I, for me, it was innocuous. I mean, it's just part of the a rite of passage, in mm -hmm. a sense. But I, don't, I think we're in a whole generation of young boys now that have never had a fight in a schoolyard. Well, this is what the book, this where the book uh, springboards from, saying that we are all spectators. We're, we don't participate anymore. We sit behind our TV screens and our leather sofas and and, and don't get in there. And the the... the expression of the book that I, I was really drawn to was not about getting out an aggression, was not about pounding the other guy. Mm -hmm. It was more about getting, just getting into the scene and receiving. Is your character receiving insane? Punch. Is that fair to ask? Without giving anything away? Yes, I, yes, I think that's fair to ask. I think it, I think it is a, um, I do think, you know, the, the movie, this doesn't give anything, the movie starts in my character's brain, literally inside his <laughs> yeah. brain, and, and rises. I thought that, you were pretty wacky myself. But yeah, it rises out before. from that shine in his brain, and I've always thought that on a certain level, the, the movie is metaphoric. It's a, it's, a, it's a study in a person going a little bit insane to say, going, Mm -hmm. Going insane to save himself in a way. But Bradley, you look always well, insane. We were this talking movie. about <laughs> wild eye. We were, we were we were we were talking about how uh, just earlier how you know when any you any time you question uh, uh, established idea, and uh, you try to take that in a different direction, you're always going to overcompensate until you find that middle ground, and that's kind of. And I think this is it's a story kind of about how a character, in a desperate effort to sort of make connect. himself start to feel something, through a part of himself goes way too mm -hmm. far and then has to pull himself back, you know, and I think it's important to draw a distinction between what the film says and what one of the characters says because, because the, the, a character is advocating something that the film doesn't necessarily go all the way out but there. But definitely prepare yourself, if you're a viewer, a fan of you two guys in the movies, for an unusual kind of ride. It's a monster. <laughs> yeah, it's I a, think it's, it's a bombardment of information. I've never seen anything like It's unlike anything it. I've it's seen in a long time beast. and it's, I feel, I think we all feel very happy about yeah. about it as a as a very unique and challenging film. It was quite the trip. Excellent. Nice seeing you guys. Thank, Thank you a lot. All right. Good work. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I mean, we found we're still talking about day all of us are kind of